Xi Jinping and Li Keqiang are sending conflicting messages. Li's recent comments have presented a different picture than that of Xi's main dream of a moderately prosperous society. Therefore, analysts say that Xi dreams and Li busts it. This year's annual summer retreat of the senior CCP leadership is likely going to be an eventful one. Achieving a moderately prosperous society, known as Xiao Kang, by 2020 before the CCP's 100th anniversary has been a major dream for Xi. Xi called for a business forum on July 21st to reinforce this dream of his. Politburo standing committee members such as Wang Yang, Wang Huning, and Hang Zheng attended the event, but not Li Keqiang, who is also on the committee and in charge of the economy. Li had organized an economy and entrepreneur forum just a week earlier. This happened with the pandemic control as well. Xi initially announced that Li would lead the pandemic control and prevention, but soon took over to personally direct the work. Two days later, on July 23rd, Li announced at a state council meeting that the government has to tighten up the spending. He asked the central and local governments to reduce non-essential spending by at least 50%. This is quite different from the moderately prosperous society picture that Xi Jinping has been trying to paint. Also, Li mentioned at a July 15th state council meeting, China is still a developing country, we need to try our best within our reach. This was stated after Li's comments during the CCP2 sessions meeting earlier this year about the 600 million Chinese making 1,000 yuan a month, which is about 140 US dollars. Upon rising to the top seat of the CCP, she has repeatedly asked Li to position yourself appropriately within internal CCP meetings. She and Li were seen as political allies during Xi's early years as the head of the CCP. As Xi consolidates his power and the two start having different opinions on China's economy, their thought differences are evolving into a power fight. Analysts say that Xi and Li will likely act on their own at any major dividing event, which may accelerate the disintegration of the CCP regime. As the annual summer retreat Bei Dai He meeting approaches, CCP top leaders have been making frequent public appearances after a short-term disappearance. Both situations present a consistent picture. They disappeared to plan and made public appearances again in order to shore up cards for negotiation and trade at the retreat. Xi Jinping has recently confiscated a significant portion of the Tomorrow Group, known as the money keeper for several powerful clans such as Zhang Qinghong and Jiang Ziming. Some prominent families in the CCP are gearing up to Xi at the summer retreat, which doesn't seem like it's going to be peaceful.